definitely more known for the West Coast tournament side. Yeah. And of course, Collision for all the uh, Collision series here in Tri State area. So. Yeah. Shouts to RJ and Champ. So it's going to be Ling Ling and SMB. Okay. Looks like the Luigi is the pick here. Yes. So Peach Luigi. Interesting character combination. Personally, I would rather see, you know, Mario Peach. Okay, okay, you're, you know, you're a fan. I am a fan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Ness and Lucina, two characters that I think are very strong in doubles. Um, Luigi, I'm not too sure of. I haven't seen too much of Luigi in doubles. Uh, I feel like he's more of a character that might thrive more in singles just because, you know, like... You, your zero to death can get interrupted, or your big damaging strings can get interrupted, but maybe it's easier for him to recover in doubles. So that definitely, like, doubles is, for more characters that aren't so meta, usually your weaknesses can get covered by yes. your teammate. So that's I mean, right there, you can see, like, the ledge pressure was coming out from Lucina, but Luigi was able to recover high safer because Peach was in a position to really challenge Ness. And if Mr. E wanted to try and do like a rising back air, Peach would, would have been there to punish him as well. And yeah, right now, Mr. E and uh, Ridge were actually put in the loser's back in from Tweak and Nairo. They were able to take a game in that best of uh, best of three, so wow. SMB got blown back. That's right. I mean, down throw up B is like still a thing. That's crazy to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> or you can see SMB really utilizing the plunger, trying to outspace Ridge. Who has like a better projectile game, but you know that there next, like Luigi's going to be able to follow up. He's gonna do massive damage as long as Mr. E isn't there to follow up or to interrupt. Oh, down air on your own your own partner. Interesting move. <laughs> they rip oh wow, the drag down gets interrupted by the fireball, but Rip's still able to squeeze out the grab. This could be the stock here. And oh, there's the save. Wow. Yeah, and I mean I, we said it earlier, right? Luigi definitely not having um, a super amazing recovery, so right there, Ling Ling was able to come in and help out. Yeah, what made that interaction even better is like Ribs got hit by the very tip of the green missile and wasn't expecting it to, to get hit by that, uh, wasn't prepared to stage to uh, tech the stage, and he just lost his stock for it. Look at these PK fires, and of course, they're a lot safer when uh, J Ribs is using these platforms to kind of cancel a lot of his lag from it. So really good positioning, and you can see Mr. E also is just very aware of how his teammate wants to position himself in neutral. That's a really big deal. Um, that's why I like that team synergy is also good too, because sometimes you got to read your teammate. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, if you're, you're you have a wild teammate and they like to throw out crazy stuff, you have to be aware of that, or else you're gonna be getting hit by it as well. I mean, you can see like Ribs loves to throw out the PK fires. Okay, is Mr. E gonna be in a position to help Ribs recover? Wow, really good angle coming out from Ribs and great interruption team combo here. Wow, the DI coming out, down throw into the up B, and that is going to obliterate J Rib Sox. Luigi <laughs> has those setups, and the down throw setups from at like any percent will always lead to mucho damage. But just as I say, Luigi gets taken out. Yeah, but did you see the way, like, after Ribs lost his stock, uh, Mr. E was like trying to like swing at, at Ling Ling? He was in the parasol, he just like pulled back and like, nah, dude, you deal with SMB, I'm going to be over here. Even right now, like just chilling underneath the stage, he knows he's at last stock 105%. He's obviously the target, but guess what? He's, he is trying to just prevent and stay as far away from the battle as possible. And right now, Peach and Lucina are the characters with the uh, target marker above their heads. They are trying to get those stocks cleaned out, and j almost takes out his own teammate. Yeah, you got to be careful with that friendly fire. Where are you, where are you swinging? <laughs> Oh, but the Gimp, uh, definitely a character. Oh, and Riv will not be able to make, it, make back. it back. No, he won't be able to make it back. Wow. That Ness recovery is not that good. I always forget that he doesn't have, like, the Lucas drift. Yeah. yeah. Lucas would have – Lucas makes it back from everything. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> Lucas recovery is very, very far. But really, really clutch stuff coming out from Ling Ling and SMB. Uh, was able to get that Gimp on Ness, so it mm -hmm. doesn't matter what percent you are. I, you know, Ness can always die from that Gimp. The main thing is where are you going to outplay that double jump? The double jump for Ness is such a huge part of his recovery, right? It also came down to, like, the, to the last, like, interaction of those games, especially, like, the last dog on Ling Ling, and how he would just float off stage forever. Yeah. Like, he would go high. Oh, I got hit off stage. Let me just parasol early, 
and float here for 10 seconds. I'm in no danger because the only thing you can really do to challenge me is PK Thunder. If you're standing there, guess what? SMB is just going to run up and up be you. Yeah, exactly. So. And I mean, that that's a really big deal for Peach. Peach has the float, has the parasol. She can really, in a lot of 2v1 situations, kind of stall out the situation until the teammate comes by. Okay, so right both now, members of red team, like, getting stuck on this right side of the stage. Yeah, I was going to say blue team with all the control, man. Oh, oh very fun. small shield. Wow, and look at all these ledge options getting covered, covering multiple options at the end. SMB very aggressive with these upbeats. Here comes the PK Thunder. Has the double jump. Wow, not. Wow. Okay. The second yo yo connect. Look at the spacing between Rids and Mr. E. Mr. E is wow. standing just outside so he can cover jump and roll. But Rids is like constantly throwing out these down smashes, which are just outside Mr. E. Yeah, so good. And look at that air drift after the uh, uh, upbeat. And look at. Jeez, man, this is a complete different turnaround here for the blue team. That whole ledge trapping off stage sequence was amazing. <laughs> okay, going for the ledge trap with Mr. E able to roll onto stage. Ribs in a recovery situation. Ooh, Throwing yep. out that early forward air. And that directional air dodge, one of the best in the entire game here for J Ribs. Oh, wow, is going to be able to make it back, but the trump into the back air will seal the deal out here for Lingley. Hey, Ning Ling's retreating to the other side of the stage, pulling out a turnout. Okay, there we go, huge combos. Oh man, and once again, Luigi getting sliced up off stage, and that's where we said it, it can get really, really rough, and right there, Ling Ling was not in a position to save his teammate. So, and that's the thing about doubles, man, like, even if you can save your teammate in certain situations, sometimes you always won't be there. <laughs> wow. Up you out of shield. Very, very strong. Very strong and very needed, because now we have, like, even stocks between our two teams. Yeah, the percentage is going a little bit more into blue team's favor, but that can be easily made up. Oh, yeah. The damage can come very easy in doubles. Oh. You just got to get in the, the right hit. In the blink of an eye. Yeah. Got to get the right hit with the right follow from your teammate, and the magic begins. There's that down B. Invincibility comes out frame one. It is really, really quick. Yeah, and the yo-yo tricks at the ledge are going to allow Ribs to take a stock from Ling Ling. Now red team at one stock apiece. Yeah, the, the yo-yo can do so much to so many characters' recoveries. But right now, okay, it looks like Mystery on to his last box. Very uh, kind of even game here. It looks like Red Team really turned it around, honestly. Yes, yeah, I mean, it's these less pressures and the fact that Ribs keeps getting caught. I mean, Mr. E has been making a few mistakes here as well, but Red Team is doing a great job of capitalizing. Now, Blue Team now turning the tables, actually, and they're the ones that are really taking control of the ledge. So he gets a little bit of control of the PK flash, oh, but no tech. tech. Try to get a last, <laughs> just in case, PK Thunder, like, you know what, If I, I might be able to get some damage on my way out. But right now, Mr. E has to go for the 2v1. Can he seal out this stock? Tries to go oh, for the counter. Oh, that's a re-grab. Okay, he gets punished here. At least he gets some damage, not a kill. Yeah, and honestly, like, that punish for getting a re-grab wasn't that big. Okay, down throw into back air. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Wow, okay, it would make it back. Wow, but it actually gets him killed. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. Mr. E just keeping his composure and able to capitalize. Throwing out a forward air, directional air, back air, going to whip. Oh, this corner pressure. Lucina versus Luigi is not a fun matchup for Luigi, but thank goodness he is not playing a three-stock match of it. He just needs to get one solid hit to close it out, and he's got the positional advantage. He's got Mr. E on the ledge, and there's the down to catch it all. Wow, really good DI, though. Yeah, great DI. Of course, you have to DI the like. Similar to how you would do like Rob's up air. No misfire, no misfire, okay. Oh, but still getting man. connected by the green missile. Yeah, Mystery definitely was very confident that misfire wasn't coming out. <laughs> man, I've, I've just seen like oh, misfires connect out. too often for, for me to have like any sort of uh, confidence in charging an F-Smash when I see Luigi charging. But good Luigi Tornado. The second one does the job. Yeah, I, I mean, at, at that percent, at that rage, I don't think there's anywhere you can go there. And, man, what what a game. It was just so back and forth, right? It was. Like, it's it was just extremely back and forth. And you know what? That's what makes up, like, a great match. You're not really sure who's going to come out on top. Skill level seems to be about the same area. This is going to give us, like, an exciting game three. I honestly hope this goes to game five. Yeah, yeah. I mean, right now, I believe... Uh, 
That was game two, right? That was game two. A yes. 2-0 red team, which right. is Ling Ling and SMB. We'll see if Ribs and Mystery can dig deep here. Being down 0-2 is not the greatest feeling, but you can definitely still bring it back. And right now, I just feel like it's really big on who's who's getting the, like, Luigi and Ness are so exploitable off stage, but they're also like their glass cannons in terms yes. of like damage and kills. So it's uh, their, their role. And then like the Peach and Lucina seem like the consistency pick, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's also, it's, it's about the momentum. Whoever's running hot at that moment is really, and who can make the most of it. So we're gonna go yellow team here, a little, little change of colors. Yeah, get the Bumblebee costume on. Personally, my favorite Ness. <laughs> the black and yellow? Yeah, dude. You already know, 2 Oh, that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good Zara at the ledge. Into a down tilt. Ribs having a lot of difficulty making it back to stage. But Mr. E coming in, flying that pressure, saving his partner. Oh, wow. Oh. And that was so smart from SMB. He knew Ribs was coming down to punish him for it, so he just stopped. Went into shield, didn't get hit hard. Oh, wow. The down tilt go right into the grab. The down or the back throw. But yes, interesting. He still went for the back throw. Like from across stage, probably wasn't going to kill. But hey, you know, sometimes you gotta try. Maybe he thought that Mr. E would be able to like uh, follow up with a back air, especially with the angle that he was throwing at. Okay, Ribs getting back onto the stage here, and he is sandwiched right now. But looks like they're going up and over, and they're going for Lucina, maybe. Wow, that down B just beats out everything. That intangibility is so nice. It's it's a pretty good tool to have. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. Oh. Okay, and you know what? Also, the great tool to have is just applying a bunch of shield pressure. Ribs taking his time, making it back to stage, making sure that that shield gets a little bit more health on, along the way. But now yellow team is actually split up. Mr. E has to go and help Ribs, but just a little bit too short. Yeah, a little too late to the party there. But Mr. E still holding on to all three stocks, just like Ling Ling on the beach. Down, you're gonna catch up everybody. Not gonna KO his teammate though. You know, in this formation, like that we're starting, that we've been seeing here in this set, honestly, like going back to what we were talking about before the set, or how we have like two members of the four like battling out in the center with the other two just on the outside waiting. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, it, and it, I just feel like usually if you're the character with the quote unquote not the greatest recovery, you you usually want to play that center position, right? Yeah. Just keep me away from these uh, edges of the stage. And wow, the forward air into grab. You got to be quick to get that. Oh, the oh. air dodge up. Okay, Ness gets back on the stage, but wow, okay, Ness gonna actually get the gimp on Luigi there. Yeah, and Ling Ling is still swinging at ribs, going from an air from the ledge. <laughs> okay, so jab your partner. Finally, though, uh, Mr. E is going to lose his first stock. He has been stock tanking for quite some time now. Finally on his uh, second stock here fresh, but Ling Ling looking pretty healthy himself. I mean, the percents have on, or the stocks have honestly not really shifted too far out of hand. Oh, okay. Ooh, off the wall here for Ribs, able to make that recovery. You get one extra up B if you, you bounce like that with Ness, so good stuff on Ribs on his character. Nair out of shield, gonna punish SMB. Mr. E is actually the one that's taking like this center stage position, swinging, connecting a lot of these, a lot of these swings too. Yeah, their yellow team right now is controlling center stage really well, and there's so many hitboxes they can throw out to control it. Ribs getting up pretty aggressive there, but we'll take some damage. The up air to finish him off. Wow, he almost lived that as well. And Ribs DI is looking crisp this day. That's right. Fortune's being a little bit too high a percent to survive, even with uh, exceptional DI. Oh, here comes the... Oh, he caught the turn up and he's still swinging. And right now, both Luigi and Peach, very, very high percents here. What will be the setup? The up air almost kills there, and Ribs is trying to get anything onto this red team. But ooh, oh, just, that is unfortunate. And SMB actually did a share stock right before uh, Ling Ling lost his stock, so now it's a very lonely Luigi. I don't even think he can make it back. Yeah, there. that was too low. Unfortunate SD there. I mean, they, they were down quite a bit, so it definitely wasn't like super make or break. If you're gonna SD, like that that would be the situation you'd want it to happen in, you know? And the, br the silver lining of that SD is that you don't give your opponents information. Right. I mean, this is like the end of game three, so there has been a lot of information already given and taken. But at the same time, you're not going to give them 
information as how you are going to react and uh, adjust for a 2v1 situation. Right. You just took yourself out of that. All right, so, well, okay, so the hardest thing about winning a reverse 3 0, if you're trying to be the person reverse 3 0, you have to at least win once on your counter pick, and then you got to win two in a row on their counter picks. So that, that's the tough part. <laughs> yeah, you get to, oh, wait, you don't even, you, so you get the two bands for, our, for this stage of this, the rule set, and right. then it's just whatever your opponent wants to go at that point. Yep. Whatever, obviously, whatever form of DSR is in the tournament. Oh, so they're taking the blue team now. Whoa, okay, we are rotating all over the place. All right, so if they, if we go to a game five, do you think we're going to see a green team? Maybe. <laughs> Definitely, uh, it is on the table. It, I mean, Luigi is green. Yeah, Peach Luigi. looks good in green. That might be uh, the it might be the play, man. Uh, I think Peach's green skin is atrocious. <laughs> so I personally would not be the one to uh, support this. Wow, this could be a dead Luigi. Hey, very well dead, could yes. be a dead Luigi, yes. In that situation, you take it because even if it's a misfire, you should be able to tech it at that percent. Um, I'm not 100% on the tech thing. 64%? But, Ooh, I don't know, man. Uh, yeah, I know. We're kind of getting <laughs> that's, close. That's, that's where close the line the is. <laughs> but, I mean, nonetheless, it would be the stock. Mm -hmm. So worst case is a stock trade. Yeah. Right now, very strong start here for the yellow team. We actually might be getting that game five situation you've been talking about. I mean, just with how close these games have been, it would be amazing, exciting game five. But good tornado. Just eliminate all the pressure that's coming to you. Is something yellow next to me? Down B. <laughs> get away! There's the back air to seal it out. Oh, you get a couple pairs on that PK Thunder and just continuing to approach, but Mr. E is there to save his partner. Wow, Ribs opting to uh, save his teammate rather to go for the uh, two frame or edge guard on SMB. And those are all those micro decisions that you have to make. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, do you want to save your teammate? Do you want to go for this ledge trap or this edge guard instead? On those the solo decisions side? add up. Like, oh, yeah. Those could be, that could be the difference in like a stock count. Right, and not, there's never like right or wrong decision. It's just kind of like, it just depends on how it pans it's out. It's offensive right? and defensive. Right, right. Oh, and wow, catching and the roll. Speaking of offense, yeah, <laughs> right out of his defense. Right out of shooting. That's one thing that uh, Luigi can now do in this game. You can uh, you can be reverse up be out of shield. So you couldn't do that in uh, the previous iterations. And look at that yo-yo shield pressure. Some might say that it's unfair, but you know Ness is out here. <laughs> Yo, Ness don't care about fair. <laughs> yeah, that, that's definitely one of the uh, big things that is very strong about Ness in this game, which is very hilarious because his up B or his up smash and down smash were very troll moves, not that good at all in the previous games, but now they're godlike. Okay, oh, another, another up B ribs. Oh, okay. The wow, turn the turnip uh, actually stalled him. It's, and, it absorbed wow. the hit. That is uh, that's one way to lose a set. That's so unfortunate it, Ness, for Kelly's team. <laughs> if Ness hits anything during the upbeat, it halves the distance. So, yeah, another gimp, just gimp to gimp to gimp to upbeat, upbeat, like, wow. Lingling Ling and SMB were on fire that they, game four. They, they obliterated them. The switch. Yes. Those up Bs started to add up, and just with every up B, their momentum built, built, and built until that was an unstoppable train. Yeah, and uh, whew, man, and we talked about Ness and Luigi being like the glass cannons of the team, mm -hmm. right? Well, there you have it. There's the uh, the yeah. cannon part of that. <laughs> Dang. So we got a quick update. Okay. Okay. Oh, cool. so.